It's mad! What sort of person makes this stuff up? Oh, I can tell this is going to take forever to just get through the exterior of Hogwarts. But while I'm thinking about it, I'd better get some cards for Hermione and Ron. Hold on, I think that that just displays cards I already have. Do I go somewhere else to get new ones? I have no idea. I guess I should have actually checked here first since I was already here. And yeah, sure enough, we do buy the cards here. Makes sense. I don't know what I was thinking. This is like some baby music or something. And for some reason, it keeps resetting every time I finish buying a card. Hey, this could be useful, but I would need to spend a crap ton more beans for Ron and Harry to have one too, so I don't know. Yeah, fuck it, I'll buy it anyways. Shit, no. I still need to get cards for Ron. Oh, Ron doesn't have as many beans. So I can't get a friendship card for him right now. Yeah, let's just increase his Jinx power. I have enough beans to do that at least three times. God, I can feel this congestion just... <coughs> creeping back. Sucks for recording my voice. Primarily a picture of Moody, though, or not Ron. What's this? Oh god, no. Two more shields until I can go into the Forbidden Forest. Okay, then. Although I might just keep messing around in the Hogwarts exterior area until I've explored everything that I can. Regardless of how many shields I get. And now I got cards for everyone, finally. Back again, eh? And there are still several shields to collect. So I'm coming back down here again because I think there was another pathway to the left after we get through this cauldron area. Dude, I literally did this minutes ago. And I don't mean three days ago, I mean just minutes ago. I recorded, like, an hour of footage just doing this Hogwarts exterior shit and had to split it up into three episodes. Now, this is a cool find, the fountain jet holding up and somehow balancing a mini shield. But, again, I would have noticed this fucking thing immediately if I had control of the in-game camera, for fuck's sake. I'm probably going to be complaining about that until the very last episode. It's just that horrible of a design flaw. That will be important to remember. Hakio can summon shields, too. I missed? Or did I just not throw it quite far enough? And again, I know I complained about this aspect of the in-game camera already in the previous episode, but you can't cast at anything if it's out of sight of the camera, even if you would otherwise be standing well within range of whatever spell you wanted to cast. That's just one of those things where even if you would be willing to suspend disbelief for all kinds of things because, you know, video games don't work like reality does in the real world and you just inevitably have to accept that certain things would only make sense in the video game's reality, a character not being able to interact with something in front of them just because the player's third-person camera isn't seeing what they're seeing would never make sense in any context. I realize why they want to set it up that way. If you can't see what you're aiming at, then you might do something you're not intending to do. But that whole problem shouldn't exist in the first place because it's such a horrible idea to not give the player control of the camera anyways. Damn. Okay, now I'm through all these walls finally, so let's see where the left-hand passageway takes us. As soon as I get to- Damn it! Okay, uh... Fuck's sake. What was I gonna do first in the meantime before I casually gave myself third degree burns? Oh right, I don't think I really explored this area either. Is 
See, I get here and I just don't know what to do. The trial and error is fine, but the aiming is just really weird. See, right there. I just threw a cauldron at one of the statues, but missed it entirely. Okay, I get beans. That's fine. Whoa. Okay, then another mini shield. I won't complain about that. It just ejects a few of the beans off the edge of the rooftop anyways. Alright, what do we got here? Interesting. If I throw a cauldron at something that's sort of out of view of the camera, it will still destroy it anyways. The guy's a loon! This isn't a challenge, it's a nightmare! How did Aqua Eructo initially aim at the second face way down the pathway instead of the first one that was closer to me and impeding my path? At least I know I can aim that far away. Again, provided that the camera can fucking see it. Oh, fuck no, more red-hot lizards. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't know there was another one off-screen to the left. Nearly burned Hermione all over again. I can't even see what Ron and Harry are doing, really. Shit, there's a third one... Okay, moved out of the way just in time. Oh, fantastic. They dealt with that one salamander on their own without my help. Well, I shouldn't be sarcastic about that, that is fantastic, but I still wish I knew what was going on. And I just realized that there are cauldrons around here, so can we blow up the lizards with those? Or did we already defeat all of them? Oh no, never mind. So much going on at once. I think I have yet another one off screen. For all I know, there's a fire pit spawning more of them and I haven't been able to see it yet. And sure enough, there's at least one. I think maybe two, in fact. I really am grateful that it only takes one person to put out a salamander pit. It's so much easier. Okay, that salamander is gone. I'm gonna pick up this cauldron and throw it behind me. Hope it kills something. Damn it! Forget it. I just need to extinguish the other fire pit and finish the shit. For fuck's sake, fine. I'll kill the current salamander and then I'll kill this next one that just jumped out and did a somersault in midair before I get to the pit again. Yeah, cool. Okay, right, the cauldron does kill it. Thank God. Was there even anything behind that gate? I guess I'll blow up the fountains in the meantime. Eh, just beans. <sighs> okay, what's behind this one? inside it, whatever. So close, and... another anti-darkness detector, or whatever. And why is it that the cards we're buying with these beans have been reinvented? They're not the usual wizarding cards we collected during the last three games with famous witches and wizards on them. They're just still frames from the movie. What's the point? I can't throw a cauldron over that fence? For Fuck's sake. This must be the same limitation that I experienced in episode 1 where I couldn't aim a few feet upwards at a Death Eater standing on a rock. Such bullshit, I still can't believe we're... I mean, come on. And I hope I get another shield somewhere out of this corner of the Hogwarts roof. I just realized there are more buttresses over here as well. And I'm actually surprised I hit the fountain from that far away this time. Those vases can't hold an infinite amount of beans, but I've not reached whatever upper limit is imposed before they stop dispensing them in response to Jinx attacks. Alright then. Oh, my bad, I thought I didn't hit the fountain after all, just sprays water upwards regardless of whether it's broken or not. Well, that's the one I was surprised I hit from such a far distance, I shouldn't have forgotten that I hit it at all in the first place. Oh, I missed this little detail. Whatever it is, a statue or something. You get bonus something if you destroy it or jinx it, whatever. Damn it, this shouldn't be too difficult though. Alright, let's try again. Fuck me. <sighs> 
Right, the supports here need to come crashing down too, I guess. God damn it, you two. Pay attention next time. Ugh. Shit. Oh my god, did I just reignite the salamander pit? For fuck's sake, I had no idea that could happen. I'll need to remember to make sure not to do that. You guys weren't even standing that close to at that time. Do you just enjoy falling down? What the fuck? <sighs> Shit, it's gonna be hard to angle the camera properly so I can see both the cauldron and the support beam while still being able to reach both of them. Okay, just take it nice and slow. There's a shadow underneath the floating cauldron to guide me. Shit! Fuck this game, I hate this goddamn camera so much. Okay, try again. Shadow. Finally! Ah, uh, yes, the classic decades-old gag where a massive structure with a hole in it falls towards you and misses you because the edges of the hole fell around you. Are you serious? You went through the trouble of having a whole cutscene for that event and I didn't get a shield out of it? Fuck this part of the level. Oh, wait a minute, I saw it right there. How fucking stupid is this fucking camera? I just nearly fucking walked past and missed a fucking shield because of this fucking stupid fucking... Bullshit. Fucking gameplay. Fucking mechanic. Just fuck off. Did anyone test this game? Surely they had play testers, right? What the fuck went wrong here? I mean, what the f God. I mean, I keep saying fuck, but seriously, just fuck. Stupid assholes. Ah, God. Ugh. At least I can assign the cards to all three characters really quickly. Again, you know a game's bad when that's one of the things I feel I have to mention tonight. in a list of positive attributes about this train wreck. I'm gonna try this again really quick. Maybe I'll get lucky this time. I don't know why I climbed up, but okay. Damn it! We're not here to play Leapfrog. Or... Did that even make sense? I don't know. Whatever, good enough. <sighs> okay, steady now. Ow! For fuck's sake, guys! Well, at least it's close enough to the other block. Oh! You assholes can't do anything right, can you? I mean, sure, you beat the last three games, but come on, fuck lords. Okay, slowly now. Alright, good. Alright. Damn it, Hermione, get back up there. And why are these two climbing around too? Yeah, that's right, just jump off. Oh god, I finally did it. Yeah, I guess I don't have to hit it more than once. Ah, oh, good. That's it for now, I suppose.